everyone, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today we are here with August favourites. This is everything that I wore in the month of August that I'm going to show you. Rewears, new swatches, everything. Um, I will link down below because there was a lot of like swatch videos that I did this month. I did my new What's Up Nails um, review, which is the first time that I'd ever worked with them. So that was really exciting and fun. I also did the Zoya autumn nostalgic as you can see up here so i will link some of those videos down below um, and the 90 i swatched an older 90 collection because that's what a lot of the polish i was wearing this month was when i look at these uh there's not much to show you there is i'm selling myself short keep watching but um it's not as big as some of my other months i'm going to show this one first i think i wore this last month but i don't think i showed it in a video i'll edit this out obviously if i I'd already showed it. But this is Porsche by Wicked Polish. And this is in the holographic line. So some of them she has like in two finishes. So this is a beautiful kind of like linear holograph, purple holographic. There's a little bit of a multi-chrome element to it. On the edges of the bottle, you start to see some other colours in there. It's beautifully opaque. Good probably wear it in one, but two for the photos. Um, and I just think I missed it. So Porsche, but like I say, if I have shown it, you will never see this footage. But if I didn't. I'm sorry, I forgot about Porsche. Porsche by Wicked Polish. We now move on to this month's wares. So Essie were kind enough to send me, and this is gonna fall down, I'm so sure, um, some of their iconic shades. And this was, the theme was uh, love every moment. So some for first dates, some for birthdays, some for glitter and the big dipper, and some for fun in the sun. Now I did own some of these already, so we won't talk about any of those, but there was, I think, four or five of these that I've not worn. So let's go through my thoughts on these now. First of all, we have Birthday Girl. Birthday Girl is like your very, very, very pale pink base with a ton of flecky shimmer in there. It kind of looks like a jewel it kind of looks like a shell it gives that sort of effect to it um, I didn't mind this I wished it was a little bit more opaque or maybe you could wear one coat of this over a pale pink just to jazz it up a little bit for me I wore it in three coats and that's what you're seeing on the swatch photo um, a bit of a eh, not my favorite Three Coats of Birthday Girl. Tangerine Tees, this is one I thought I owned, but I don't. Um, it's a really nice bright orange. It's not neon in any way, but it's nice and bright and eye-catching. Would probably look gorgeous against deeper skin tones. I didn't mind it with me, thought it was fine. And again, a nice easy two-coater. So not my go-to shade, but I did enjoy wearing it. Tangerine Tees. Now we must take a minute to have a look at Bikini Sotini because I'm sure you're thinking, Amy, you've worn Bikini Sotini before. We've seen it on this channel before. And yes, you have, but you've never seen it like this before. You've seen it like this. So hopefully there you can see, oh my goodness, I dropped the original, don't wanna lose that one, that there's definitely been some reformulation going on. So I did re-swatch the new one, but obviously the old iconic one is much lighter. The similarities are there is a fine silver shimmer in both, but it's not very apparent on the nails. Um, the new one is darker. A few people said to me, is it kind of like Sally Hansen Pacific Blue? Not really sure if I felt that, but first saw it, I thought it looked like Midnight Sun. There is some slight difference there, but they're quite similar. Are they not? I'm not sure why they really had to redo an icon. I think a lot of SE fans out there would have probably preferred it if they just said, hey, we're not gonna do Bikini Sotini no more because we, have, we can't make it for X, Y, and Z reason. And instead we're just gonna retire it um, and do that. Or I feel like maybe 2020, they released a collection of polishes which were like iconic polishes and new versions of the polish. And they should have just included that in that version. So the original Bikini Sotini and this being the more modern updated twist. I'm confused when they're trying to make us think that this is the same polish when it's not. Saying that, if we take the comparison out of the way, I do really like this shade, I'm just sad of what I've just mentioned. So nice and easy two coater, much more opaque than the original Bikini Sotini new. We then have Blossoms and Besties, and this is kind of your rosy pink cream color. Nothing added in there, no pizzazz, just nice and straight up and an easy two coater, Blossoms and Besties. And the last one in that package was Ferris of them all. I've never seen this colour before. I've heard of all the others, but I've just never seen this one. Um, and my friend Becca also received the same PR package. And this looked stunning on her nails, and I did not like it on mine. It's kind of like a 
burgundy pink base and as you can see there there is a really nice different unique golden flash to it i just think the flash on mine like didn't really work in my skin tone favor um but it definitely looked great on becca so not for everyone two coats of ferris of them all we now move on to the indies that I wore this month, this grab and go. We have one UK, one European. Let's do those first. The UK polish was Gentle Breeze by Prism Polish. This came out in their spring collection and I grabbed it because it's kind of like your grey toned, bluey, smoky lavender. And then there's these little bitty little pink flakies in here, which are so fine. And again, I just thought the pinky rose gold in the purpley blue base which is really different and really unique it looked really soft really dainty and was surprisingly more opaque than what i thought so two coats is a good one for gentle breeze by prison polish and if you don't know by now all indies are going to be linked down below from miss sparkle we have another one from the care bears collection i'm probably going to pace myself out and do like one a month of the care bears because i have like eight of them but the second one that i'm showing you is a funshine bear and this is like with all of them the white base and then this one has both gold and yellow glitters in there i want to say there was some that were in a funky shape um, but I did not see these. I got the like there was like bar glitters. There were um, hexes in variety of sizes. But I didn't get anything more fun than that. And I just thought that there was like sunshines or something else in there. But I might be losing my mind. What you're seeing is three coats of Funshine Bear by Miss Sparkle. I always find that I've slipped like I'm on the wonk when I film these videos and I always feel like I'm adjusting myself but I think it's where this is like an optical illusion and it looks like it's on a slope but it's not um, or I'm sorry that this video is on a crook the whole time. The next one we have is by Never Enough and this is Defense Against the Dark Arts. I got this one in a D stash. It's nice and simple just a deep like purpley berry um, holographic. Nothing too jazzy but you know I can't resist a Harry Potter polish. So that one there was two coats of Defense Against the Dark Arts, never enough polish. Something super unique and something that really lived up to expectations. And this is Webhead by Colors to Carol. Uh, this came out in a Hella Handmade Creations theme, which was Spider-Man. I think it's over now. Um, and I don't even know how to describe this to you. It's kind of like a bluey metallic base. And then there are red glitters in there. And then there are kind of shredded opalescent or shredded duochrome like which go green to blue um but it overall gives you kind of like the spider-man suit colors of red and blue i was obsessed two coats of web head by colors to carol and icon we have a hair polish for you probably gonna start trying to wear one hair polish a month as well because again i have a lot Thankfully, I have a lot that I need to wear and re-swatch. So this one is Medusa Luminosa. Um, and I really, obviously, enjoyed this one. I can't really say anything bad about hair. Is this my favourite hair polish of life? No. Uh, it definitely could be a bit more opaque. This is quite a sheer base where you have these really, like, glowy um, flakes in there. And the flakes, she just this in a few. They kind of glow like a purpley blue colour. But I think to make them glow, you need to have the base sheer and therefore... That's kind of where the sheerness comes from, but I would probably like the base to be a bit thicker, but then you'd lose the blue. You know the dilemma. Um, what you're seeing is three coats of Medusa Luminosa by Hair Polish. One dollish polish, and this one is Star Court, and this is from the Stranger Things 3 collection, and it just glows and radiates this kind of really, really blue-toned, bright, little smidge of neon pink, uh, obsessed, great for the summer, and definitely one of my favourite pinks of all time, even though I just filmed that video. If I hadn't filmed it, this would definitely be going in it. So good. Three coats of Star Court by Donish Polish. And the last of the new indie wears is a Celebration by Anchor and Heart. Um, I also got this in a D stash because I thought it was a really cute combination. It's kind of like a yellowy off-white base with then a turquoise green and the magenta pink uh, glitters in there. They're in a variety of sizes and I just thought that the yellowy base with the turquoise and the magenta just really was unique and different same as with the hair polish i would have liked this to be a smidgy more opaque um but it's different enough that i still did like it because those color mix was just really interesting so what you're seeing is three coats of uh, celebration by anchor and heart on to the rewear so these are polishes that i did not update my swatches for but the ones that i just got out and rewore the first one was haruko by zoya this is a lilac purple with a shimmer 
Um, I didn't like this as much on the rewear. Um, the shimmer is just not that strong and uh, the polish is quite sheer. So in my mind, I had this vision of how I thought it was gonna look and it didn't quite live up to that. Maybe there is another one from Zoya that I'm thinking of that has this kind of glowy effect, but it was not Haruko and that was a three coater. We then go on to a classic, which is Jen, one of my favorite Zoyas of all time. It's a really, really nice dark blue, blurply purple, definitely more blue than purple, on the scale of purple, blurple, blue to purple, more blue. Uh, I love this one, it's a beautiful one coater um, and it's just really nice and easy to wear. I wore this when I broke my nails and I wanted something dark on the little shorties. So one or two coats of Jen. And we also wore a glam polish, clearly when I was doing my rewears, I was in a blue to purple kind of mood. And this one is Let the Water Wash the Hex Away. This came out in the Sabrina collection, I want to say. Um, I really love this, it's great. There's a nice uh, blurply base color. We then have lighter, lighter blue flakes and also holographic. And there's a little bit of a orangey, very faint, like an orangey shimmer to it. Um, it gets really opaque, nice and opaque in two coats. And just looking at it now, makes me want to instantly rewear it. So let the water wash the hex away. Glam polish, two or three. I feel like my voice is getting croaky as I've gone through this. My camera was ticking down. It still is. It's only telling me I've got a minute left of footage. Um, so I hope you all had a great August. Um, I haven't posted as many videos as normal. I think I've gone down to one a week. Um, I don't know what's happening. I've lost my mojo a little bit with it. And then I've been doing videos that have been very swatch heavy, which means um, it takes me slightly longer to film for them because I have to film the swatches. I have to make the swatches do the book. You know what it's like. Um, I would love to have any videos and um, suggestions that you have down below. I will be doing in the next month or so uh, favourite purples. So that is where we are up to on our series. The next video that's going up after this is going to be a polishes I forgot I owned. But any other requests, I'd be happy to um, do, what, do what you want. Tell me what videos you'd like and I will try my best, if it's possible, to make it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know what you wore in August and I will see you soon. Bye.